Okay then guys, uh, the devil in mud is pretty much dry by now. Um, whilst the camera was off, I actually took liberty to uh, add some devil in mud to the head area where all the metallics are. And I forgot about the skull on the backpack. So that was basically um, a base coat of uh, Vallejo Air Gun. Bulk and metal will do fine and a quick highlight by using the silver mat. So in this video, in this part shall I say, um, all that we're going to do is finish off the base. And we're going to do that by taking it off the blue tack or white tack or silly putty or whatever you've got holding your miniature. We're going to load the pallet up <coughs> with graveyard earth and then we're going to be using the large dry brush and the technique we're going to be using is kind of like a wet a wet dry a wet brushing and all we're going to do is we're going to slowly build up our layers and we're not going to be tidy we're actually going to dry brush or wet brush the bottom of the legs because this is going to basically be uh, dirt and dust because with them being on bow bowels kind of like a barren dust planet uh, if you're familiar to uh, Dawn of War, Dawn of War 2, and it's the uh, Blood Raven's homeworld where it's uh, deserts and stuff like that, um, that is how I see Bal. So as we carry on, you can see that the layers are slowly building up. Let's dip all bottom of the legs across the front. And you know taking into uh taking into account that I am doing this quite quick. Quite, quite um carefree seeing as it's on a tutorial. And the own aspect is actually getting the uh, the logic behind the paint job forward. If someone was to uh, take the time and implement each step properly, you know, this would uh, this color scheme, this technique works. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave it to dry and then if you wanted to add some flock, um, flock sand, give that a coat of uh, graveyard earth as well. The whole point of this step was to basically get the dirt onto the, uh, onto the legs and get the rim painted. Now like I said this is you know a very quick video just to get the point across um, you know even if I do this on myself this miniature has turned out rather well um, you know it's not perfect but the whole concept of the colour scheme and the techniques have uh, come across and hopefully um, it's been a help to someone and you've enjoyed it so that's me guys uh, this tutorial is over and done with uh, if you've got any questions uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, answer them and yeah bye bye